Cube root and fourth root radicals can be divided the same way square root radicals can. For dividing cube root radicals, we can use the general rule, the cube root of A divided by the cube root of B equals the cube root of A divided by B. And for dividing fourth root radicals, we can use the general rule, the fourth root of A divided by the fourth root of B equals the fourth root of A divided by B. Sometimes dividing cube root radicals results in the cube root of a perfect cube. For example, we're asked to simplify the cube root of 375 divided by the cube root of 3. The cube root of 375 divided by the cube root of 3 equals the cube root of 375 over 3. 375 over 3 equals 125, and the cube root of 125 is 5. And sometimes dividing fourth root radicals results in the fourth root of a perfect power of 4. For example, we're asked to simplify the fourth root of 324 divided by the fourth root of 4. The fourth root of 324 divided by the fourth root of 4 is equal to the fourth root of 324 divided by 4. 324 divided by 4 equals 81 and the fourth root of 81 equals 3. Remember, if we get an answer with any type of radical in the denominator, we must rationalize the denominator. Getting rid of a radical is done differently for cube roots and fourth roots than it's done for square roots. Let's say we have the cube root of a to the power of less than 3. What we do is we multiply it by the cube root of a to a power such that we end up with the cube root of a cubed, which is simply equal to a. Similarly, if we have the fourth root of a to a power of less than 4, we multiply it by the fourth root of a to a power such that we end up with the fourth root of a to a total power of 4, which is just equal to a. For example, if we have the cube root of a squared, we multiply it by the cube root of a or a to the first. This gives us the cube root of a cubed, which is equal to a. So we remove the radical. This time we'll start with the cube root of a. We need to multiply it by the cube root of a squared to obtain the cube root of a cubed, which again is equal to a. This time we'll start with the fourth root of a. We need to multiply it by the fourth root of a cubed to give us the fourth root of a to the fourth which is equal to a. Now we'll start with the fourth root of a squared. We need to multiply it by the fourth root of a squared to give us the fourth root of a to the fourth, which again is a. Now we'll start with the fourth root of a cubed. We need to multiply it by the fourth root of a to get the fourth root of a to the fourth, which again is equal to a. In all three cases, we ended up with just a, and no radicals. We'll do an example of dividing cube roots with numbers and radicals. We're asked to simplify the cube root of 54 over x. We'll assume that x is not equal to 0. The cube root of 54 over x is equal to the cube root of 54 divided by the cube root of x. We rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the cube root of x squared. We do this in order to give us the cube root of x cubed in the denominator. Looking at the numerator, the cube root of 54 times the cube root of x squared is equal to the cube root of 54x squared. And looking at the denominator, the cube root of x times the cube root of x squared is equal to the cube root of x cubed. So we're left with this expression. We'll continue the solution up here. Looking at the denominator, the cube root of x cubed is equal to x. So we're left with the cube root of 54x squared over x. 54 can be factored to 27 times 2. So we have this expression. We'll break up the cube root of 27 times 2 times x squared into the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 2x squared. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. And the final answer is 3 times the cube root of 2x squared over x. 
Here's the complete solution to this problem. If you like, pause the video and review all the steps yourself. Now we'll do an example of dividing fourth root radicals with numbers and variables. We're asked to simplify the fourth root of 5 divided by the fourth root of 4x squared. Here we'll assume that x is greater than 0. You cannot have a fourth root of a negative number. Because x is in the denominator, it cannot be 0. We'll start by rationalizing the denominator. We do this by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the fourth root of 4 cubed times x squared. Multiplying 4 by 4 cubed will give us 4 to the fourth, which is what we want for 4. And multiplying x squared times x squared will give us x to the fourth, which is what we want for x. So now we have this expression. 4 cubed is equal to 64. 5 times 64 times x squared is equal to 320 x squared. So we're left with this expression. We can factor 320 to 16 times 20. So now we have this. We'll split the 4th root of 16 times 20x squared to the 4th root of 16 times the 4th root of 20x squared, giving us this expression. We'll continue our solution up here. The 4th root of 16 is 2, giving us this expression. Looking at the denominator, we can multiply the 4th root of 4x squared by the 4th root of 4 cubed x squared to give us the 4th root of 4 to the 4th x to the 4th. So now we have this. Looking at the denominator, the 4th root of 4 to the 4th x to the 4th is just 4x. So we're left with this. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. To give us the final answer, the 4th root of 20x squared over 2x. Here's the entire solution to this problem. If you like, you can pause the video and review all the steps yourself.